I'm excited to pick some photos. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. I hated all of that. I hated everything I just did. I didn't like it. I, I would, I think I'm a funny person, you know? Sometimes I make my friends laugh, but when when I sit down in front of the camera, I I get so crippled by this fear of not appearing genuine or interesting that I end up becoming really boring and completely disingenuous. Why is that? Why why is it that I try so hard to not be that way and that's exactly how I feel that I've been? by the end of it so many things you try so hard not to be and in doing that become that thing i just want to record a normal intro i just want to relax i just want to be myself today i'm 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 picking i'm picking some prints i'm gonna pick out some of my favorite photos and i'm gonna edit them and by today i mean weeks ago i did this video weeks ago but i forgot to record the intro okay anyway i picked out five to be exact of these recent photos I took of some dragonflies, of some lizards, I'm gonna go through the process with you today and I'm gonna show you how I decided to edit them, how I decided to make them unique to me, and how I decided to put them on the website. Some of you probably are like, oh, I know Tim's a photographer, he's got some cool new photos he wants to show off. I just wanna see the photos, dude. I, don't, I just don't really. Editing is cool. You're gonna talk about Photoshop? I don't do that. I don't, don't, show me, show me birds. <laughs> I like birds. For you guys, uh, I'll put some time codes on the video. Feel free to just jump straight to what you're looking for. <laughs> I like that you like birds. <laughs> okay, so uh, I really love the photos that I ended up picking. So if you like them, uh, even if you're not interested in purchasing them, go on to my Instagram and give them a like. I worked really hard on these photos, and to be honest with you, each and every day that I do this, I just want to go out there and take more photos because I think I can just do better. I think I could take even better than these five photos. I really like these, but I know that I can go out there and take something way more interesting than anything I've shared yet, and I'm excited to go out there and keep doing it. Yada, yada, yada. That's not what this video is about. This video is about picking five photos, getting them ready to sell, and starting the business. This is, this is business. This is business boy episode one. Here we go. Here we go, old boy. I'm just going to start browsing through my photos and if something stands out to me or I think of something I'm gonna stop consider it and create a new folder and start compartmentalizing all my ideas so let's get started here this one's kind of cool what could we do to it that would be interesting though it's interesting looking uh, I got no more ideas I just wanted to play with the color. Let's see what else we got. This one's cool. What can I do with this? This just makes me want to do pop art. This is kind of cool. I don't know if I'm in love with it. Let's see what other people say first. But. It hasn't made me fall in love with it. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, that's a good one. Wait, this is the one where I get really close to a sick lizard boy, this guy. He started getting close to me. He said, you want pictures? I'll give you pictures. Look at him. He's gorgeous. Oh, that's a cool one. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's my lizard boy. So we added this, and then we added this. That's a pretty freaking cool looking image to me. I feel like maybe we just need to make a collection of really cool animals with this thing. I think that's what I want to do. And I'm going to print one of these. And I'm gonna, In fact, I'm going to print this one and see what it looks like. I have to say it's very, very cool, but I think it's a, a little bit on the dark side of things. And this is what our second print looks like. It's hard, I'm sure it's hard to tell through the camera, but um, in person it looks a lot brighter. All right, so let's get back to it. 
That's the one I think I want. Okay, so this one's also in focus, but you'll notice the very tip of his eyeball in comparison is not in focus. So this one has it right there, and this one does not. I wonder if we can combine them somehow. I bet we could, and I bet we should. Almost unnoticeable. <laughs> that was pretty good. I think we've got a pretty cool image here. So this is what we did to the color. We just did that gradient overlay with soft light, and we brought it down to about 50%. I wish I could like really show you, but it looks so good here. It looks so good. It's just like bright, vibrant. So this is a great print. I really like this. It's a cute picture. I think that looks pretty neato. I think that's nice. I really like that one. All right, so that that does it for today. So this is the first time we've ever sat down to curate some images for the Etsy shop. And these are the five images we've got. I think this one is my personal favorite. I love the detail. I love the way those wings just fade in, out of focus like that. The detail in here, the texture in the eyes, the print of this. I just did an eight by 10 print of this and it looks so cool. I'm like excited to see that one. I like want to find a frame and put that one on my wall. I like it so much. We also have this dragonfly. Uh, I just showed these to my roommate. This <laughs> Pablo. This is my roommate's favorite after showing him. Uh, he really likes this one and I think it's a cool one too, so I'm glad he likes it. That so I have three dragonflies. This one's golden. This one's pretty cool. I really like the way that it, this one's shot with a different lens, so it has a bit of a different vibe to it. And then we've also got the lizard boy. I really like this one, especially the digital version. I like how flat it is. I don't know what it is about this image, but looking at it with the flat light looks really cool to me. And then we got this last one. This is my favorite picture of the lizard. I like that you can see all the color. It's really sharp and really in focus and a really good looking shot. What I'm realizing is that because they're sold in an online store, all of the images that showcase them need to be the same size so they fit nice and snug next to each other on the web page, which I didn't really think about because I've never done this before. I'm going to take pictures of picture frames of the various sizes that I plan on selling and then I'll Photoshop my pictures into the frames and I'll create like a template too so in the future I can just swap out a new photo and I'll have basically a one by one picture with a four by six picture frame inside of it with my picture in it. I'm gonna hit the hay, I'm gonna try to get up tomorrow and uh, get a jump start on this. All right, so I went into Walmart, um, and the first thing I got was some nice socks. I like the little pattern on that. Um, right off the bat, I noticed they had these really nice white frames that were just like perfectly rectangles and nothing more. I thought that was kind of cool because I thought we could do different types of colors depending on the photo. We could do different colored backgrounds and things like that, and white will make it really, really easy to adjust hue or change things without like concern for the change of color or the change of texture. It's just gonna be a really simple looking shape. So I got it in, uh, I got a four by six frame, I got a five by seven frame, an eight by 10 frame. And then the last one I got is an eight and a half by 11. Unfortunately, they didn't have this one with the white frame. It won't match all the others, but I think if we take a nice picture, it'll still do the job. All right, 
we got our light box set up. We got our frames. We got a bunch of different colors. So what I'm gonna do is just grab each frame and then I think I'm gonna shoot a picture of it with each frame on each color. And then that way in the future when I have different photos, I can choose different color backgrounds for each photo. So uh, it's gonna take a little while, but uh, let's do it. Hey, so I forgot to turn my mic on because I was taking photos, so I forgot to turn it on, but I'm done with my photos, so I'm gonna go to Photoshop and edit the photos. Here we go, here we go. Let's look at this, look at this with me. This looks very neat. <laughs> All right, I think that looks pretty nice. Okay, it took me an hour and a half to do just the blue ones, so uh, I'm going to go take a quick break and then I'm just going to sit here and grind through them all and I'll be back when I'm finished. Let's do it. Okay, I've been working on this for like three hours now and I've done them all. They're all ready to go except for one last one because I've been doing it for so long now that I'm really fast at it so I'm gonna do this one as fast as I possibly can and then I want to compare my time from this one to the very first one I did all right so here we go I'm gonna do this one as fast as I can starting now boom done I don't know how long that took me but uh, you will because you're watching the video all right let's put this shit on the website already it's at this point, as I'm recording this, like mostly ready to go. By the time I post this video, it should be completely ready to go. The website's looking good. Thank you guys for tagging along on this journey. This is just the first part of many. I'm excited to go out there and take some more photos. It would mean a lot to me and the growth of this channel if you were to hit that like button right now. And if you were to hit that subscribe button, that would be amazing. Okay, so let's, uh, let's keep building business. Let's let business build big. And let's make another one of these videos. Expect Business Boy episode two for sure. I'm gonna learn something between now and then, and then I'm gonna go, well, something changed. This maybe we don't do it this way anymore. Maybe we adapt. Maybe our business changes. I just had the thought that I'm just from New Girl, and I hate that I had that thought. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, we'll be. I'll be back, and we'll do. We'll do a. We'll talk about where the business is at. Go ahead and please also go ahead and please hit the subscribe and notification bell because because others want to hear about the where the business is at later uh, for the channel for my channel.